everyone so we're back again and um, we've just had a really nice day at um, Alan Wick um, Gardens today we went round we didn't go round the castle because um, we went there a few years back round the castle so we thought we would just do the gardens this time um, we've had a really been lucky with the weather today it's been really nice and sunny I'm wearing my Harry Potter uh, have you seen the switch t-shirt which I absolutely love which I got from Harry Potter Studios um, it's been a really nice warm day today it's been the warmest day we've had this week with no rain it's got up to probably about 2021 20, today in the sun it was like really really warm so the reason we went to Alan Wick Gardens today um, was I really wanted to go and visit the poison garden um, with all the poisonous plants. Um, we didn't go around the castle. That was more kind of heraldry and Harry Potter orientated, but um, we didn't do that this time. We just wanted to see the gardens. Um, the castle and gardens is quite, quite pricey for what you're getting. You really need two days kind of to do both. It is a really full day. We've just spent four hours going around the cast, the gardens, sorry. So I thought I would do this little like chat. Um, I didn't vlog today. Um, I'm just going to um, do like a photo montage, um, some photos to show you. I couldn't record in the poison garden. They wouldn't let any audio or videoing um, going around the garden. Um, so basically I just had to take photos of as many plants as I could. It was really busy today. So we only had kind of like 20 minutes in the garden to kind of snap away and kind of listen to the guide. You weren't allowed to kind of go around by yourself. So I thought I would just do this little mini haul of things that I bought at the same time in this video. I have my trusty Harry Potter Primark reusable shopper with me that I carry around everywhere. It's so handy than buying carrier bags at 5p a time. So from the gift shop, I bought this really, really good um, like brochure booklet. It was four ninety nine, dollars um, called The Poison Garden. And what it's got inside, it's got a little bit about the garden and all the poisonous plants in it, their properties and stuff like that. And most of them are like plants that you find in your own gardens at home. So... Um, but most of them aren't poisonous unless you consume them anyway so so it's quite a nice colour booklet like that tells you quite a bit about each plant and the next thing it isn't to do with the garden but I just fancied a pot of raspberry curd so I bought that uh, I think that was $2.75 uh, the other thing I bought was a couple of souvenirs for people so I bought some stem ginger shortbread which I thought looked really really nice uh, they were $2.99 and the other things were some chocolate which I thought looked really interesting so it's this um, called Belladonna Jane chocolate that I've never seen before I think it's just made specially for um, Alan Wick Castle um, and it's a sharp rhubarb and prickly ginger in white chocolate it's handmade in Northumbria and um, it just says um, rhubarb is a delicious fruit but its um, leaves are deadly consumption can cause many unpleasant symptoms from nausea to kidney failure we have added tart rhubarb to ginger in finest white chocolate sweet and sour so I thought that would be quite nice to give away as a present. That was about three ninety nine, but I just thought it was just so different. I've never seen anything like that before, so I had to get that. And then another bar of the same kind of chocolate, Belladonna, Belladonna Jane again. And this one is tart crab apple and intoxicating poppy seeds in white chocolate. Um... And it is supposed to make you sleep. I'm not sure if that's true or not. And it says, don't let the bed, bed, bed bugs bite. I can't speak today. Um, that was $3.99 as well. Um, I think they are, I'm not sure about size, 45 gram bars. So not that big. And then I've got this little bar there. 
for another present to somebody. Um, that is just says inspired by the poison garden. So it's the same as the one before with the crab apple and poppy seeds. And it is supposed to age your slumber. I just like the wrapper was quite uh, spooky looking there. And it's got kind of fake blood on the back. And the little bar is about, it says 45 gram again, but it can't be. Um, so that was 175. But I just thought they were different to give away as presents and stuff like that. So yeah, that was just the little haul that I bought from the gift shop at Allen Wink Gardens. Um, I will put um, some photos in with this video, just like a photo montage to show you kind of around the gardens and the poison garden. And um, yeah, so I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in my, my next video. Bye.